We're supposed to be America's finest city, not America's most segregated city. Anger was boiling over at a downtown public meeting today. It's over a residential project that opponents say puts a wall between the haves and the have nots. And 10 News reporter John Horn explains why even the promise of nearly 60 new affordable apartments couldn't stop a developer from getting ripped. The buildings would be put here over this parking lot at the corner of 11th and B. Physically, they'd be attached, but there'd be separate doors and no interior connections between the two. That's not fair. It's not fair at all. Don't get Juan Nunez wrong. He'd love to land an affordable apartment. It would sure beat the converted garage he's now calling home. No insulation, no nothing like that, no air conditioner. Thousands of San Diegans are in his shoes. That's one reason many would line up to live in the 58-unit low-income apartment building Pinnacle is proposing for the corner of 11th and B. It would be attached to this 32-story market-rate residential tower. But the way it's designed is inducing a lot of anger, evidenced at Civic San Diego's Wednesday meeting. We're supposed to be America's finest city, not America's most segregated city. While the two buildings would be attached, they'd have separate entrances, walls blocking the hallways from connecting, and few shared amenities. Please say no to the poor door and shut down projects that segregate and devalue San Diegans. Attorney David Dick, who represents Pinnacle, says that's a misrepresentation of the intent. It has to do with the realities of construction, cost, financing, management, and ownership. Board members like Robert Robinson didn't buy that explanation. You want to put us somewhere else? Are we not good enough to get on the top floor and look out at the ocean? That's what the message is here. In the end, Civic San Diego rejected the current design and told Pinnacle to come back with something else. John Horn, 10 News. In a statement after the vote, Pinnacle said it has done more than others in agreeing to build affordable housing rather than pay a fee. It says the fact that it continues to be held to a different standard is not only inappropriate but inconsistent with city rules.